हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम चेतन देवीदास जिंगड़े वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपुर इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव सीन व्हाट इज मीन बाय अरिल हलाइट्स प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ अरिल हलाइट्स एंड वी हैव जस्ट स्टार्टेड द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अल्किल हलाइड इन विच वी हैव सीन वन प्रिपरेशन दैट इज डायरेक्ट हेलोजिनेशन नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव टू सी द रिमेनिंग प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अरिल हलाइट्स द सेकंड द सेकंड प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अरिल हलाइट दैट इज फ्रॉम फिनॉन्स now when this phenol is treated with pcl5 that is chlorinating agent generally to convert oh group we use chlorinating agents like phosphorus trichloride phosphorus pentachloride sometimes we use concentrated halo acids and along with that sometimes we use thionyl chloride these are this some these are halogenating agent whereas these three are chlorinating agent which are used to convert OH group into halogen atom, or we may say that these reagents are used to convert alcohols or phenols into alkyl halides or aryl halides. But <coughs> when we deal with the preparation of aryl halide, we know that. when we are going to prepare aryl halide from this phenol generally we use this phosphorus pentachloride as a chlorinating agent only or i will also say that these three that is concentrated hx pcl3 and this thionyl chloride that is associal to cannot be used to prepare aryl to prepare aryl chloride that is benzene that is chloro benzene okay in this case we have to use or this reaction is carried out or this reaction or we may say that this reaction is carried out by using phosphorus pentachloride only now the statement of this preparation is nothing but when phenol is treated with pcl5 which is nothing but the chlorinating agent we obtain chlorobenzene as a product we obtain chlorobenzene as a product the reaction is shown as now we know that this is the phenol molecule when this phenol is treated with pcl5 now this pcl5 will convert this oh molecule into chlorobenzene with the formation of hcl 
एंड पी ओ सी एल थ्री दिस इज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ अरिल हलाइड फ्रॉम फिनो नाउ इन नेक्स्ट लेक्चर इन नेक्स्ट द नेक्स्ट रिएक्ट द नेक्स्ट प्रिपरेशन we see about sandmeyer reaction now the next preparation is nothing but sandmeyer reaction we know that sandmeyer reaction is nothing but the decomposition of it is nothing but decomposition of diazonium salt now as this reaction means the decomposition of diazonium salt firstly we will understand how the diazonium salt will be formed now we know that when this aniline molecule when this aniline molecule is treated with hcl we know that we will obtain this salt and when this salt is treated with sodium nitrite that is in a no2 and hcl which liberates hno2 the mixture of nno2 and hcl gives hno2 now this hno2 is nothing but the diazotizing agent it converts this nh2 hcl group into diazonium salt it converts this nh2 hcl group into diazonium salt it is into cl this molecule this molecule is also written as n2 cl positive this is diazonium salt now in this sandmeyer reaction we have to decompose this diazonium salt to prepare aryl halides now when this diazonium salt is treated with cucl when this diazonium salt is heated with this cucl in presence of hydrochloric acid we know that this is the nucleophile the cl negative acts as a nucleophile here and n2 as being the better living group easily eliminates easily eliminates from this molecule to give chlorobenzene as a product chlorobenzene as a product with the liberation of n2 gas instead of this cucl if we use
instead of this cucr if i treat this molecule with cubr we know that but in presence of hbr we know that here in this case br negative 2 acts as a nucleophile and we will obtain bromobenzene with the liberation of n2 gas now like this too if we use or if you we react this molecule with cuprous iodide that is cui instead of or like this cl and br this cl and br the iodine nucleophile means i negative also replaces this n2 group to form iodobenzene as a product now this is all about the sandmeyer reaction the last preparation of this aryl halide is nothing but hans dicker reaction silver salt of carboxylic acid when undergoes bromination in presence of solvent that is organic solvent ccl4 we obtain bromobenzene as a product now hansdicker reaction or in case of hansdicker reaction silver salt of carboxylic acids is treated with or undergoes bromination to form or to give bromobenzene as a product to give bromobenzene as a product now we know that this is the silver salt of carboxylic acid for example i took here silver salt of benzoic acid now when this silver salt of benzoic acid is treated with or undergoes bromination in presence of ccl4 as a solvent we will obtain bromobenzene it means one of the bromine atom will replaces this co2oag group and form bromobenzene if we look at this reaction if we look at this reaction here in this case the decarboxylation of this co2 group occurs the decarboxylation of co2 group takes place it means here in this case the removal of co2 group takes place and we obtain this bromobenzene as a product now this bromobenzene is obtained with the precipitation of agbr and liberation of carbon dioxide now there are four reactions four preparations of aryl halides are included in your syllabus and we have studied that in our last lecture now we know that the first 
preparation is nothing but the direct halogenation. Second preparation of aryl halide is from phenol, whereas the third is nothing but Sandmeyer reaction, and this is the last that is Hunsdicker reaction, which are included in your syllabus. Thank you.